Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Cez Acero from the National University College of Dentistry, Restorative Dentistry Department. So today, I'm going to teach you how to do a class 2 amalgam preparation. In this video, you will learn the principles of class 2 preparations from outline form down to the brightness of the cavity. And here, I'm also going to show you the specific hand instruments that I use, the birds that I personally use, and an actual demo of your class 2 amalgam preparation. For the instruments that I use for my class 2 amalgam preparation, I only have this very minimalist setup. So for the burrs, I use the Shofu and New Resto Burr Kit that I personally um, selected and carefully selected. So with the burrs, I only use three burrs for my preparations. My inverted carbide, my straight diamond, and of course lastly, my straight carbide. So I use this to flatten the floor to create the initial outline and then I use this to shape up my walls to do the proximal ditching and basically I only use these three burrs to finish my class 2 amalgam and of course to make it even more precise and smoother I use three hand instruments so, I only use three burrs and three hand instruments. First is the enamel hatchet. This one, this is used to shape the walls. Second is my straight chisel. So, this one, it's used in a pull motion. I use this to flatten my floors. And of course, the angle former. I use this to create internal line angles and point angles. So, I bought these three from Euphrady from J. Chenny. And my three reliable burrs, which I have been using since I started teaching. <laughs> so, of course, I change if it, if it gets dull. But I only use this setup to create one class 2 amalgam. And of course, eh, don't forget my Explorer Pro to check for measurements. Okay? Okay, so what we have here is... Uh, class 1 preparation. So I'll just zoom it in. Okay. So this is a class 1 preparation. Yeah. Okay. So for your class 1 prep, after doing your class 1 prep, you first check your contact area. So of course, in this tooth prepared, na kasi to. So in order for us to see the contact area, you have to mark it like this. Yeah. So you know that your buckle limitation is here. And your lingual limitation is here. Okay? Sometimes what I do pa nga is to shade the area. Para I don't get lost. Okay? So 0.5 of contact. Also on the lingual, 0.5 of contact. So as you see here, this is my class 1. And I am now going to connect it with my class 2. 